CoffeeZilla trial date set versus Logan Paul. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, looks like we got ourselves an interesting new update regarding the CoffeeZilla Logan Paul lawsuit. So uh, we got quite a few updates, but the main update is, number one, this uh, lawsuit is going to drag on for the next year. It's going to go all the way until 2025. And we also know that the trial date has officially been set to October 14th of uh, 2025. So before we get into it, what do you guys think? Do you guys think CoffeeZilla is going to win or Logan Paul? Before we get into the video, put it in the comment section. Which is exactly one year from right now. By the way, my CoffeeZilla merchandise finally came in. I ordered a shirt uh, from CoffeeZilla because, you know, he has a merch Let's store. See. That's the way to support him to raise enough money to pay the lawyers to fight this Logan Paul lawsuit. Mm. And I did get the shirt. It is right here. This is it right here. Let's go. You can clearly see uh, the shirt that I specifically got is the I used to like CoffeeZilla shirt. So you can clearly see it. This is how it looks. Yeah, that, that shirt looks dope. I might have to pick one up. I don't know. Uh, me personally, I like it. I actually think it's a good shirt. The quality's cool. You know, it's a regular nice shirt and I'm happy to support CoffeeZilla. So yeah, the shirt did come in. Uh, I have no idea why I'm not wearing it in this video. Actually, I probably should, but I'm not. I'm sorry. But let's actually go ahead and get to... Uh, the updates regarding uh, the lawsuit here. So there's something called a scheduling order that was posted in the docket. And when you look at the scheduling order, it just kind of goes over like everything that is pretty much expected in terms of like the procedures and the filings of this lawsuit. And the sad thing that I saw was, uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to come to some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of uh, agreement where either Logan Paul drops the lawsuit or, or, you know, CoffeeZilla settles. Obviously, CoffeeZilla is very unlikely to settle. I don't think he will settle. Uh, but I do want to make sure everybody is aware, most lawsuits, you can talk to any lawyer, most lawsuits end in a settlement. That is just how the game goes. So I will say this. I think Logan Paul won. He wants a lot of money for all the stuff that CoffeeZilla has said. Or two, Logan Paul, he said he's a fighter. He does not like losing. You see what I'm saying? So does CoffeeZilla. He said, I'm not going to lose this. So he's he doesn't want to back out. So both of these, both people, they don't want to back out. They don't want to lose. So what are they going to do? Bring it to court. But in my opinion, I feel like CoffeeZilla has the edge. That's just my opinion, though. Because America is a country that is unfair. It does not matter if you're right. It does not matter if you're being sued frivolously. It doesn't matter. If somebody sues you financially, it would be so much smarter to settle for mm. whatever than to drag the lawsuit on uh, because if you drag a lawsuit on, you can end up spending 100000 200000 even half a million dollars defending yourself. It's a very sad reality of lawsuits in America, but that's really how it works. So I will say this. Logan Paul has all the money in the world, right? So what he's going to be doing is basically he's going to get CoffeeZilla to basically he's going to try to get him to drop out for extending it as long as possible. So October 2025, a full year. That is a lot of lawyer fees. That's probably 100K to 200K, maybe even 300K worth of lawyer fees because they have to go back and forth in court. And it might, and the court case might go on for another year, right? So it might be like 500K. We have no idea. Hopefully, a lot of people buy CoffeeZilla's merch for him to pay for everything. But he also lost his insurance as well to cover his YouTube. So there's a, there's like another thing that's even crazier. So we all got to see like what's going to happen. I feel like um, CoffeeZilla definitely, like I said before, will win this case, but it's just going to take some time. Bottom line is, do I expect this lawsuit specifically to go all the way to the end? To be honest with you, based on historical data, mm. you would think, no, it's not going to go all the way. But this is CoffeeZilla we're talking about. CoffeeZilla has, I'm pretty sure, has raised the money needed to drag this lawsuit on and fight it, which is good. He also makes money from YouTube, which is good. Mm. So I think in this case, CoffeeZilla could very well be that rare person that takes this thing all the way to trial. Now, let's just... I'm going to say this. Let's actually see... Oops. <laughs> I just exposed myself. Um... Let's actually see, right? 
uh actually let's go on view stats so we're actually going to be going on view stats and we're actually going to be see how much money does coffeezilla make every month from the last year okay and it didn't come up okay there we go so coffeezilla he hasn't been able really to post he was posting you see this but the Logan Paul stuff is carried. Let's see how much money he's made in the last year. He's made around 245k to 682k. 40% probably gets taken off from taxes. So he's probably only making around, I'll say 150 in my personal opinion. And I don't think that's enough. And he's actually making less because he doesn't want to say anything, right? To bring him down or to for make him to lose the case. And two, Logan Paul is basically trying to silence him. And if he says anything dumb... Or if he says anything incriminating, Logan Paul is going to take advantage of that. So, Kavizilla has been very, very careful. But let's keep moving on. Let's go ahead and read some of it. I'm going to summarize some of this because it's a bunch of nerdy law language that nobody cares about or wants me to read. But we'll just go over, like, the important stuff and then I'll, you know, end the video. But um, uh, we'll look at number two here. It says right here under number two, uh, the plaintiff must submit a settlement offer. Uh, by January 3rd, 2025, with a response mm. from the opposing party. Uh, again, this is, uh, oh, I'm sorry, by, yes. And, okay, so the plaintiff must re must submit a a settlement offer by January 3rd, 2025, and then a response from the opposing party has to be submitted by January 20th. So basically they're saying Logan Paul has no choice but to offer a settlement because, again, that's how lawsuits work. He That doesn't mean Coffee still has to take it, but Logan Paul does have to offer it. And then if we move on to number three says motions to amend pleadings or, or add new parties uh, must be filed by December 18th, 2024 um, expert designations, expert objections. Okay. Discovery this is what we want to look at. So let's scroll down to number six. Okay. It says here under number six, the party shall complete all discovery on or before Friday, May 16th, 2025 council may by agreement okay i'm not going to read all that the bottom line is um all of the discovery which you know that's the phase where you're gathering the evidence all the depositions different things like that that phase must be completed by may 16th of 2025 uh and the interesting part about discovery is the discovery that's the part where both parties basically like get the court to say hey you have to submit evidence you have to submit you know different uh text messages or whatever you got, any sort of communications, all that stuff goes through discovery. This is okay. Before we move on to the next point, this is the thing that actually blows my mind in this situation is I don't think there's anything that's incriminating for Kavizilla to lose this lawsuit. I don't think that the set like um, Logan Paul suing him, right? I think it was just a silence act, right? And he's going to try to, like I said, he's going to try to drive this lawsuit as long as possible but I feel like if Logan Paul does take this to court, he's going to be basically exposed. Theorization, not a statement. He's going to be exposed. I feel like if Kavizilla does win this case, right, this will also have a turning point and people will be like, oh, Kavizilla won this case? Ah, okay. No, I'm going to sue him for what he did to me. Oh, I'm, no, I'm going to sue him for what he did to me. You see what I'm saying? I'm sur and I'm surprised. I know George Janko and Logan Paul are really good friends, or they used to be. I don't think they're as good of friends anymore. But in my opinion, I feel like I'm surprised that George Janko didn't sue him. You see what I'm saying? Just all the stuff that happened and telling George Janko that he had to take certain stuff from the guests, inappropriate behavior. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this is going to be a turning point. If Logan Paul loses this case... And he's already getting a lot of lawsuit. They're, the Prime is already getting sued by the Olympics, right? Prime is already getting sued by what? They're already getting sued by the, the people who manufactured their goods, right? People are hating on Lunchly. Maybe Lunchables might sue Lunchly, right? We don't know. So this is going to be... And I'm surprised that Logan Paul has taken on this case because he has so many other lawsuits. And I feel like he's going to have so many more many lawsuits to come also he is a brand he is a business owner it is a inevitable that you're going to have a lawsuit it is, it is inevitable that people are going to try to get money out of you but in my opinion i wouldn't take this to court for logan paul but that's just my opinion let's keep moving on this is the part that can mostly hurt 
Logan Paul because any sort of text messages or any crazy stuff that he may have said regarding the whole crypto zoo thing that would help Coffeezilla in his thing where he basically said that it was a scam. Well, you know, uh, this discovery phase would be where Coffeezilla and his lawyers can request that information and the court can get it and there'd be nothing Logan Paul could do about it for the most part. Okay. The other part is mediation. Party Parties must attempt mediation by June 26, 2025, unless excused by the court. Then it says a pretrial conference is scheduled for October 8, 2025 to address any remaining issues before the trial. And then after that, you have a trial date. The trial date is set for exactly one year from today. The trial mm. date is set for October 14th, 2025. Obviously, today is October 14th of 2024, which means for an entire year, folks, Coffeezilla is going to be paying an attorney, a high-profile attorney, by the mm. way. The guy that he's got representing him is the guy who helped the victims of the uh, Sandy Hook shooting win a $1 billion judgment from Alex Jones. Oh, Ah, ew, that's crazy. So he's gonna be paying this guy the big bucks. That's bad. I feel like that's terrible for Logan Paul. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like he like Logan, like Coffeezilla is not messing around. But Logan Paul might have some good lawyers too. But I don't know. Coffeezilla is very strategical in the lawyers he picks and the content he makes. Very strategical content creator. So I don't know. Okay, that guy. Which by the way, Alex Jones is like. He got so destroyed by that lawsuit. He basically is going to have to like sell his entire company or whatever. And, you know, it's a crazy thing. But anyway, um, Coffeezilla is going to be paying those lawyers to mm. October 14th of 2025. I have no idea how much money Coffeezilla raised from the T-shirts. I've made it very clear that I think that Coffeezilla should have. Uh, I think he raised easily a quarter of a million dollars from the T-shirts, maybe 500K, but I might be wrong. Should have uh, did the uh, GoFundMe, but he chose not to do it. That's fine. He did the T-shirts. I hope he raised enough money. And, uh, yeah, the jury selection and the trial is set to begin on October 14th of 2025. I just wanted to give you guys that update on what to expect. So mark your mm. calendars. I will say this is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to say a huge shout out to Echoes from Above. Um, if you guys have not subbed or turned on your notifications and liked the video, please do that. But what do you guys think? Do you think... Coffeezilla is going to win or Logan Paul is going to win. I wanted to end a little video. Basically, just talks about the end, right? Um, but thank you, guys. If you guys have not followed Echoes one more time, please do that. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But I just think I think it's an easy one for Coffee. I think it's all right, it's going to be a long, it's going to be long, very long. But I think it's going to be a, a pretty easy win. I feel like Logan Paul's kind of dig dug himself in the dirt because he has so many different lawsuits, so many different things, people that he work with. It's just this is authorization no statements here i'm not trying to get sued myself i might be wrong you see what i'm saying but i just think it's it's just way too late guys it's there's no way there's no way that logan paul is gonna win hey he might pull up something in his sleep he might pull it out and he might be like oh i got this on you copies of ggs you see what i'm saying but i don't think that's gonna happen i just don't think right but um thank you guys so much shout out to echoes from above but if you guys have not Follow Echoes, follow him before you follow me. That is my motto. We always say that after every single video. But thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.